I'm Katya. Welcome to Europocket News. Today we will talk about drugs, environment and men. Let's go! Party pills, smiling pills and any pills that contain PCP are likely to be banned in the Europe. Already illegal in seven Europe member states, the tablets are dangerous and fatal for the nervous system. Cheaply made in India, the tablets make their way easily into Europe, like into the UK, and recently some 65,000 BCP tablets were found there. Back in the 70s, the tablets were used as antidepressants, but about seven years ago, they made the scene on the Irish and English dance floors and nightclubs after being easily bought at health stores or ape sites as legal ecstasy. The tabs result in anxiety, delusion, hallucination, paranoia and life failure. So I think it's high time an Europe-wide ban came in. How do European directives on the environment really help if countries just ignore them? A few months back we were talking about an outer road called Via Baltica that was threatening the survival of a natural reserve in Poland. Well, the government of the twins Kaczynski has forgotten ecologists' opinion once again. They want to restart the construction on the 1st of August. The parliamentary commission responsible that investigates the situation has said that there are many protected species in that place. Brussels has already shown the red light to the Polish government and has announced that will punish them if they continue with the project. Ireland is the least violent country in Europe, not according to the Irish, but according to the World Health Organization in their latest survey. Seemingly, the rate of killers has gone down by 32% per 1,000 people, a figure that can be contrasted with Finland. The rate of killers in the Scandinavian country has doubled and Scotland has been called the most violent European country. The general feedback implies that security must be increased in all member states as well introducing more politics of prevention. Are you a frequent internet downloader or do you feel guilty about the rights of the outers? Would you rather more control online or even more freedom? According to the Spanish paper El País, the North American company Warner Music shared their discographic catalogue on the web in return for a piece of publicity cake. And meanwhile, Europe keeps introducing laws against pirates. A while back, Belgium operators threatened to punish Belgacom if they continue downloading music. Sometimes I wonder who should learn from who. And finally, let's go to Milan to check out their recently celebrated Milan Fashion Week. We had an exclusive male fashion reporter there to check out what are the trends for the summer. And that's all today. Bye bye!